Right guys, so behind me here I've got a Mark IV Anniversary Golf. It's a 25th Anniversary Edition. Proper nice car. I absolutely love them. Debatably one of the most iconic Golf GTIs of all time. Now I bought this car almost a year ago, yeah? I bought it almost a year ago and I can't sell it. Why? 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 This thing is not selling, right? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about maybe why it's not selling, uh, the problems I've had trying to sell this car, and finally, my plan with this car. Look how nice this car is, guys. Let me just quickly switch the engine off. You know, save that petrol. Um, left it on there for the cinematics. Turn that off. It's done 129,000 miles, by the way. Worth telling you that, isn't it? Uh, but before we continue talking about the actual car, let's talk about what an anniversary Golf is. So this car was built to celebrate 25 years of the Golf GTI. And by doing that, they've done some unique things to a normal Mark IV Golf GTI. And they've done the, the touches that they made on these cars just made them look I think loads better than a normal Golf GTI. So if we look up close here, we've got the little GTI badge in the grill there. We've got these darker headlights, which are again, unique to the Mark IV Anniversary Golf GTI. And the silver color-coded splitter there on the bottom of the front bumper, also very nice. Just makes the whole front end appear nice and clean and fresh, all color-coded as well, including these little strips here. Again, making the car look super fresh from the front. The 18 inch BBS alloy wheels, these ones currently don't have any centre caps. Um, I would love to get some centre caps for these wheels. I'm definitely, definitely going to do that. We're going to talk to you about what my plan is for this car shortly. Um, yeah, so the wheels are very nice. Again, they are unique to the anniversary Golf. And as we wander around the back, duh, 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 here we go. We've got another rear diffuser just at the bottom there. Just again, unique to the anniversary Golf, which uh, I, I think it makes the whole rear end of this car appear so much nicer. Usually on the normal GCIs, they're in black. Not to say they don't look nice, but it does look a lot better color coded. It's got the normal Golf GTI rear lights, which are tinted on all GCIs, including this one. And what else was I going to say? They come with no sunroof, again, just retaining that originality from the original Golf GTI 25 years prior to this. And these, oh, out of breath, hold on. And these particular anniversary golfs were only available in silver, black and red. I don't know which colour I prefer. I would say silver is probably the most uh, popular one. Maybe this was used in the press cars more. I don't know. But they look amazing in all three colours, I think, personally. Now, I bought this car almost a year ago, like I said earlier. And we've had it up for sale. And it is the cheapest anniversary golf in the country. One thing I've not yet mentioned is they were available it with the 1.9 PD TDI engine, which is a phenomenal engine absolutely legendary engine super reliable nice and powerful 150 horsepower they also often with the 1.8 t petrol engine which is what this car has got again i would say that makes it probably a more desirable car over the diesel uh, these cars here they come with 180 horsepower which is actually 30 more horsepower than the normal golf gti because they come with 150 now other differences it does continue on the interior so we hop hopping on the inside uh, what we've got going on here we've got the lights on let's turn them off recaro seats with the recaro badge in black and red they were unique to the anniversaries the handbrake handle there with the red stitching again unique to the anniversaries i'm using the word unique it's far too much in this video but it is a very unique car uh, by the way this car is almost stock bar i think it's had a stage one tune but we'll talk about that when we go for a drive in a sec all right so the golf ball gear up there again unique to the anniversary golfs bit of red stitching on the inner edge of the steering wheel there this steering wheel has worn a bit like i said it has done 129,000 miles so it ain't worn hor horribly but it is a nice steering wheel and i do love that red stitching on the inside there this seat here definitely worn a bit it's gone a bit flat on the edge there maybe that's a reason why someone didn't buy it and maybe they've just thought oh, i can't buy this car because it's gone flat on the seats there and therefore it's uh, it's a no-go for me the anniversaries have also got their number they made a limited amount of them so each one of them has their own number which again is very cool 
and then under the bonnet let's quickly do that da, 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 da. look at them wheels look at them wheels i love them wheels there it is the wonderful 1.8t engine uh this one's got the, the amd carbon fiber intake there i don't know if that is definitely an amd carbon fiber intake but little things like this probably ain't doing the cars no favors we ain't removed it all we've left it all in and maybe maybe guys that has put people off i don't know the previous mot advised on a few things that might have put a few people off but nothing horrendous but overall that don't just appear like a, a quite a nice car it drives spot on as well so i think at this point of the video guys we need to jump in it and go for a little drive and then whilst we're on that little drive in it i'm going to tell you what my plans are with this car Quickly before we go for a drive, let's do the usual thing where we pull up the HPI and just quickly fly through that, yeah? Here we go, so the reg plate that this car came in on was L1 VRD, we retained that plate, it then went on this reg and that's not actually the original reg either. It is now gonna be going back to the original reg, which is DNO2 CPK. Just a little bit complicated. There's nothing wrong there, we'll get it back on its original reg. They made them in 2002, the majority of them were 52 plate cars, uh, but again, that was 25 years from 1977 I think of the Golf GTI guys so five registers are clear it is a HPI clear car which is wicked and ain't had many owners either three former keepers three door hatch they were only available to three door hatch with a six speed manual gearbox now uh, as far as HPI is concerned there isn't much more to report there at all but it is a proper cool little car all right so let's now hit the road yeah oh wait before we do that guys engine start listen to this hiss from that air filter under the bonnet bit of a purr from the rear i'm guessing it's had some kind of exhaust work it has got a big stack of paperwork in the back here um absolutely loads of stuff going on uh what we will go through probably at a later video i need to explain to you what the plan is with this car first all right so let's now do the driving bit this car is a quick car guys now, when I drove this car, I drove it again this week just to get a refresh on how well it drives because uh, it's been a long time since it first came in. It's been a long time since I initially drove it, right? And these engines, these 1.T engines, I can't say that I've ever really driven one and it's impressed me. I say this don't massively impress me, but it does feel quite quick. Now, these are a front wheel drive car. This engine was more commonly known, I suppose, in my life or on my channel with the Audi TTs, all right? We've given away a couple of Audi TTs on Planet Dreams. And when they're mapped up and that, we gave away the red one, that's 250 brake horsepower. They do pull really well, but maybe they're bogged down a bit by the four wheel drive. Now, the fact that this is a front wheel drive, it is trying to light up. It's not massively quick, but it does feel like quite a quick car. Now, let's talk about the story of this particular car. Now, we've had it up for sale, We've had a couple of people look at it, not many people at all. It ain't had a lot of interest. I don't understand it because the car market is absolutely mental at the minute. Like everything is selling, it's been mega, mega busy. But this car's just been sat in the corner of the yard, looking neglected, looking unloved, and not getting any attention from any buyers whatsoever. Now, I had a guy come down the other day and he had a little look at it. This car is advertised for five and a half thousand pound right that is the cheapest one on the net i think there might be one a little bit less than that uh, but that's done like 190,000 miles or something so that's an incom incomparable car but if you want a petrol engine one with this mileage this is the cheapest one on the net by far right This fella's come down the other day and he's had a little look around it and he said, yeah, it's got a couple of advisories on the MOT. And I'm like, yeah, mate, it needs a bit of love. It's a cheap car, they're going up in value. I think this is gonna be good news. He said, I tell you what, mate, I'll give you three and a half grand for it. I was like, three and a half grand? Ha! <laughs> Got <it. laughs> I ain't gonna sell that car for three and a half grand. It's five and a half grand, like buy it or don't buy it. If you want me to get these little advisories done, we can have a chat about that, but I ain't letting you have it for three and a half grand. He goes, come on, mate, I've got cash on me now. I'll give you three and a half grand for it. I said, mate, honestly, I'd rather give that car away than let you have it three and a half grand. He's like, fair enough, well, take my number, and if you want me to come and buy it, I'll come and buy it. And he left, and I thought, do you know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give it away. I'm gonna put this car on Planet of Dreams, because the other day, I bought the Mini Cooper S, which you saw a video on. I'd done a video where I bidded 100,000 pounds on that car for a laugh, 
and it turned out that that, that car was a Cat D car. I was like, oh, I couldn't believe it. I was gutted. It arrived, nice car, and I've decided that I am not going to give that car away on Planet of Dreams. I wanted to replace it with something, and conveniently, this idea of the anniversary golf came up at the exact same time as me thinking that, and I thought, Do you know what? The anniversary golf can replace the Mini Cooper S. Hello mate, hello mate, you come to look at a car? Yeah, I've got a little Mini Cooper S outside that I want to pipe exchange. Oh right, yeah, you want to pipe exchange it? You've got an anniversary Golf out there, five and a half grand. The Golf GTI there, that's a proper nice car that is. I'll give you the Mini plus cash on top for the Golf GTI, how does that sound? All right, yeah, take a seat, let's do payment. I, I've kind of had a change of heart about giving away a categorised car. I don't know the previous history of that car, and I do know myself that this particular car here, this anniversary golf, takes flow clear, and it's a very, very good car. Now, understand that with Planet Dreams, I am very restricted with budget, right? I, I haven't got loads of money to just throw at cars just to give them away, but I would like to get these few bits done. I'd, I'd like that the stereo is missing here. I'd like to get an original stereo for it. I'd love to get this seat repaired, but again, I'm constantly working with budget. There isn't, I don't get loads of money from my channel. You lot know that. I've done a video explaining all. Um, so I'm constantly working with what I've got coming my way and what I can afford to give away. So um, we'll see. I will do a little bit of a project on it. I've just noticed that this is the, the thing from the brake pedal and um, that needs to go on as well they're silly little things now luckily for me i have got vrs on side but if there are any companies out there that want to offer their hand with anything that i've mentioned rrt can refurb the wheels not that i think they need refurbing but they might could possibly be um refurbed to get them looking factory again looking fresh again that'd be nice but this is a really really nice example of a petrol engine anniversary golf i am a huge huge fan of these cars i've loved them forever i think they look stunning man they're such a good looking car they're iconic in the vw world and they are only going in one direction in value now i know this car hasn't sold for whatever reason i don't know why they're currently not demanded have no no idea whatsoever but i know full well that whoever gets their hands on this car hangs on to it if that does happen uh, over the next very soon these cars are going to fly up in value so um and i think this is a perfect example of that so uh, the plan with the car is it is going to go live on planet of dreams as soon as this video goes live i don't know when i'm going to be giving it away but it's going to be in the next four to six weeks maybe i don't know i don't want to put myself under too much pressure because again one funds two um time effort you know it takes a lot of time to get these cars right and three i want to get a bit of content out of it as well right so uh, if you do want to be in for a chance of winning this car for absolutely nothing i'm giving every single one of my subscribers a single entry each to win this car for free head over to planetofdreams.co.uk there is also a dreams dream catcher subscription option on there as well where if you sign up to Dreamcatcher, it costs you £9.99 a month. It ain't a crazy amount of money. All it does is it supports the platform and it helps us fund these prizes, all right? If you don't want to do that, it's completely optional, guys. Completely optional. But one of the biggest benefits you get if you sign up as a Dreamcatcher is you get five entries to every single competition across the whole website. We're giving away AirPods, games, bloody PlayStation stuff, steering wheels, all sorts of stuff on that website. So I would appreciate anyone signing up. But again, I want to constantly remind you that that ain't what this is about. If you ain't got £9.99 a month, don't worry about it, all right? Go and enter for nothing. This car's going to go live on there. And over the next few weeks, I'm going to do more content on this car. That is exactly what I get out of it. I'll get endless amount of content and I'll get to experience lots of different cars and give them over to you lot. Get to meet winners, meet you guys, and continue going, all right? So, yeah, the Anniversary Golf, it is uh, now off sale. I'm not selling this car. I don't want no money for this car. It's getting given away on Planet of Dreams. I'm going to wrap it up and leave it as that. I was planning to do draggy times in this video, but I think I've spoken enough. You get the idea. It's a nice example, and yeah, I really like them, all right? The link for Planet of Dreams is in the description below. I'll also encourage you to hit follow. Don't crash into me and you're evoked, darling. We love the anniversary. We don't want to damage it. Uh, yeah, Planet of Dreams Instagram. Give that a follow as well if you're on Instagram. I am on TikTok as well. Give me a follow on TikTok, Instagram, Planet of Dreams. You know the drill. All links are in the description. Do me a favor. Hit the like button and hit subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload a video. And I'll see you in my next video, all right? Bye.